So we went to the Colorado Parks and Wildlife in Durango to get uh, pick up some information for Boom, who got a five-day fishing license. And it's pretty neat here. You can actually walk into one of their hatcheries and see how it all goes. I haven't been able to see that kind of stuff before us, so that's pretty neat. See if there's anything in them. Fumbles is already over here. What do you think, Fumbles? This is the first time I've ever like been this close to a hatchery. I think it's pretty cool. A lot smaller ones here. This must be one of their first phases before they get bumped over to the next run. All right, Fumbles, what'd you find? So when I was birding, obviously, I stumbled across this doe, bedded down, and uh, oh, there's another deer. She's got a fawn over there. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Two of them coming out. Over there is the hatchery we just walked through. And then a short little walk from there, you come over here and you got this nice river running through it. You don't see much like this in Arizona. Nice to get up here and a lot cooler temperatures, that's for sure. So, standing here on the bridge over the river, it's all this coming down the river. You can't tell me that this doesn't look fun and enjoyable. I've got to say to anybody who comes to Durango, take a few minutes and stop in at this Durango State Trout Hatchery in the ring. And it's pretty cool because it's open and you actually get a chance to walk in and look at the hatchery, which you don't get to do a lot. And then the river is right over here to our uh, right, I guess be the south of the hatchery, just within a short walk. But this is an awesome place. I highly recommend it.